The beer brands you're about to see in this video are not sponsors of the show. The beer cans that was used in this project I just had laying around the shop. Right now, I'm uh, ripping the strips of wood down to two and one eighth of an inch, basically the diameter of the top and the bottom of the beer can. Cutting the pieces three inches long, need about 12 of them, six heads, six tails. Drilling a three eighths diameter hole about half inch deep on the center of the end grain side of the block. That's going to be done on all 12 blocks. Doing a quarter inch round over on the edge sander. What I'm using for the wood stain is a mid wax water based wipe on stain and finish, which will give the wood its green uh, look. The clear coat is a interior water based fast drying polyurethane. I drilled a hole in the fish's mouth so this way I can feed rope through it later on. Going with some small wiggly eyes, and the holes are drilled slightly smaller, and they're going to be held together by friction fit. Drilling a 3 8 diameter hole about center of the bottom of the beer can. I took all the beer tabs off the cans, and now I'm cutting out the center of the top of the can to allow a 3 8 dowel to go through. What we're going to do is when we carve out the letter, the letters in this piece of wood, since it's being a small piece of wood, and we have a big router, one of the problems we're going to end up facing is when you're, you get, when you're carving away, you might, the router might end up tipping on you, and you don't want that. So, what we'll do is we'll surround this piece of wood with material that's the same thickness as the wood, This way, when you're carving away, you don't have to worry about your router tipping. tipping. I attached the laminated paper with lightweight carpet tape. Before I did any carving, I made sure that the depth was set just right. I tested that out on a piece of scrap wood. The router bit I'm using for the carving is a V-groove bit. Now for the sign part of the project, I'm putting in the paint in the grooves of the letters that I just carved. I'm gonna let that dry overnight, go over it, sand it. This way all the paint that's in the grooves are gonna stay and I can throw a stain on that. Yes, too cheap to buy one of those artist paint brushes, so I modified a two inch brush to get the job done.
our folks, finished product, beer can fish. This is one of these projects you can easily take advantage of your scrap wood in your scrap bin. You can let your imagination run wild. There's so many things you can do. You can use beer cans, pop, pop cans, pop bottles. There's so many things you can do. You can add fins on the fish. Your possibilities are endless. So, until next time, take care, be creative. Oops! Next part of the project is we're going to be, well, dyeing our wood green, fish heads, tails, with the emerald green wood stain stuff. You can follow Beaver Valley Woodworking on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Keek, and the brand new BeaverValleyWoodworking.com. Thanks for watching.